Hello, everyone, and welcome to the conclusion of the 2023 Shelly Sharp Memorial presented by Spinners on the Green. A new configuration out here at the Vista Del Camino XL course. We're going to put it on trial and see if it passes. We may see similar configuration for the Memorial Championship coming up in just a few weeks. But now we're heading to the back on hole number 10, 651 feet. 10 and 11 are unchanged from previous years. Both of them par fours as they parallel each other. Going opposite directions and something I never do is start off a round at catch cam, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of what the swing looks like. Oh, and that's up and on the right side and actually goes out of bounds up over the sidewalk as I pan over and show you guys where the basket is. And also, that is the chase card and a pretty sizable gallery as we're watching Noah Mainzma Bonus points. Oh, he hits it off the tree and it keeps him in bounds, which he does not realize initially. That's until he gets up and sees his lie a few minutes later. Marweed. Good position. I mean, two forehands of that exact same nature will likely put him on the dance floor looking for a birdie. And we've seen some struggles by Tanner over the last couple of holes. And this one looks like a very aggressive drive. Puts himself in great position. Got enough of a window. He actually played that one back after going out of bounds. He's able to take it backwards a little bit in that case, and that worked to his advantage. Noah couldn't find the forehand line, which would be much safer, especially after that hits a tree and is flirting with the out of bounds. He essentially was throwing from OB right out of his hand. So he's lucky that actually found inbounds. Otherwise, he may have just been standing there throwing again. Oh, and a late high left tree holds Tanner up from what looked like it was tracking all the way to the pin. And that's going to leave Noah with a little bit of work to save his par. Here's Marweed from circle two, just about 15 meters. He hasn't had a lot of looks from circle two. That one scoops out for Jake. No sweat after hitting the tree branch. It still capitalizes. That's good birdie. And Noah is in. They're going to make a walk over to hole number 11. Big shout out to our friends at Double G Jerky. I know they're working on a couple of things as we look at a 759-foot hole. I was just thinking about how they're also working on a U.S. Distance Championship. If you're watching this in sometime in late January of 2023, well... They're about to release some news on that to come out at the end of January. 
David Wiggins, world record holder, I believe is going to be involved. That just drifts ever so slightly. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but... How on point is Marweed's sweatshirt game? Is this the third different sweatshirt in three days? Is he a sweatshirt model? Ah, did I just figure this guy out? Tall, beard, multiple sweatshirts. So I'm just adjusting his hair. He He's a sweat. I got it. I got it. I agree with Noah. What an awesome shot. Tanner told me that was his Fusion Raider. And the hole that has had Marweed's number is this one, hole number 11. And he also is aware of it. That's the one he put in a tree, took the bogey in round one, and then in round two also took a bogey. Jake just going up and over everything, skipping it off the road and then finding back in bounds. Noah said he was nervous that <laughs> Jake was going to hit the palm tree. But he stays in bounds. He's got a birdie look and <laughs> Marweed knows even with a par he's improving by one stroke over the previous two days. Oh, and Mainsma gets it to drop in. That looked a little high and right to me from my angle, but... Jake told me it was a good putt. Uh, I'll trust your judgment, Jake. Sometimes baskets will break your heart, young man. Will break your heart. Big thanks to our friends over at Grip EQ. I know some of you guys are dying to get your hands on a grip bag. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Over the next few months, I'm going to have some pretty sweet giveaways. As we look at hole number 12, they push the T pad back. Pin in the same spot, but the T much longer this year. Uh, we need to get a confirmation and none required actually from the spotter. Spotter's like, yeah, sorry, you're out of bounds. Shouldn't have done that. And while we're at it, I'm going to say big thanks. All the volunteers, all the spotters, people out there running around doing a whole bunch of things, whether that's hanging out at the beginning of the tournament where it kicks off or out on a hole for eight or ten hours in a day, whatever the case is. Thank you to all of the crew out here making this event happen. Keith, Ashley, and the entire crew over there at Spinners. Your presenting sponsor here. There's Jake. Yeah, he didn't get over on that enough at all. It definitely has more than enough power, but does not get over on that one. Noah, a 
along with Jake, will both head to the drop zone and <laughs> Noah online the whole way, hitting the pole. Not a terrible angle, of course, plenty of distance, but not a terrible angle from where he was at with that lefty putt. Marweed's going to give it a long bid. Jake will head over to retrieve his errant tee shot after the bogey. See the par tap in there for Tanner. Noah also will tap in for the bogey, as we saw with Jake, and then a par here for Andrew. Spoiler, he makes that. And then for one last time, we get to take a look at some of the beautiful sights out here in Arizona. Can't complain with taking in this action. Excited to come back for the memorial. We're going to ramp up the coverage even more. Hopefully giving you guys more cards. Also, maybe even another division or two. Stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe. You know, do all those YouTube things. As I came in a little bit late here for the tee shot, but... Nice and safe, no problem. Low direct line, no problems for Marweed. Certainly a bonus. I know I say that all the time, but there's a few holes out here that you just don't see birdied often. And this is definitely one of them. Where the kids say, show me the receipts. Oh, yeah. I'll show them to you. This is coming in as the third most difficult hole on the course. Averaged 3.29. Oh, <laughs> and a great bid. I think we had two birdies in round one, like four, maybe five in round two. Oh, and a nice lofty bid by Marweed. Today there were ten birdies. So people are starting to figure it out. Also the lowest wind that we've seen and one of those birdies of course by that man Jake doing some work if my very unofficial math serves me right I think Aaron Gossage got it all three rounds that's ridiculous What's crazier is a few clicks later, and I see Aaron Gossage and Andrew Philomahala both got it all three rounds. They're the only two players to do so. Put that on Twitter. We're here, hole 14. They shortened hole 14. It's still a par four, 605 feet. It's about 40 feet shorter, and that is largely due to the fact that we saw hole five extended. And if you're talking solid tee shots, that's a, about what you're asking for right there.
Marweed will be first to throw his approach. Sorry, I just took a nap there. It's been a long weekend. You have a putt from right side, just about circle's edge, maybe outside of it. And there's a little contemplation that I saw here by Noah as to what disc he was going to go with. And that comes within a few feet of being out of bounds. But he doesn't like the shot. And, I mean, if I'm being honest, I didn't like it either. <laughs> Even with a pine cone <laughs> deflection still parked for Jake. And unsure what happened to Tanner there, but that was not his best effort either. Probably me first. He only wears hooded sweatshirts probably because he keeps cookies in the front pocket, keeps them warm. I've got this guy figured out. Kind of like he's got that putt figured out. Marweed. The birdie to push to 21 under. So Tanner's birdie attempt off the side of the cage, about the same distance for the comebacker here. Quick motion, steps up, puts it away. Easy birdie for Jake. I think he just had a conversation with the basket without saying any words. Question is, what did he telepathically say to it? <laughs> he's got four holes left to play in regulation. And he's trying to hunt down Andy Marweed. We've got this par four, 741 feet, famously eagled by Anthony Barella, right here on the Disc Golf Guy channel. Jake doesn't love it. That's going to put him out of position unless he has a crushing second shot. Tanner and knowing that he doesn't have a forehand that's still going to be a very difficult shot here's Mainsma oh. <laughs> again he clarified every roller this weekend has been with a Katrina Allen signature vortex he's like it's just a speed 7 and I'm still rolling at 500 feet you done? Quite impressive. Yeah, that is wide. Look, getting enough, but not much of a skip for him either. Looking like a layup from over there. Marweeds taking advantage of the weather down here in Arizona. Of course, him and his Michigan roots decided that uh, trying to stay sharp all year would be a lot easier to do if you're in warmer climates and conditions. So seeing him out there on the road along with his significant other. Uh -huh. 
and then just an incredible tee shot that was. I don't want to leave that unstated. So well, Marweed, who's picked up the birdie on 14, now has one on 15. And at this point, all I'm thinking is the way holes 17 and 18 play out is they can easily be four-stroke swing. It could be a two-stroke swing, and of course there's plenty of strokes that be, you know, you could see a roll away on 16. The next hole there's a lot of things that can happen but specifically i'm thinking in my head super easy to miss the island on 17 somebody hits it two strokes right there birdie to bogey exact same thing can happen on 18. so if you don't have a five stroke lead at least there is a very real possibility you could see things get flipped upside down real quick so think about that not only for this event but of course, think ahead to early March when we're going to see the Memorial Championship play out. Again, OB has loomed and those holes can be birdied and so on and so forth. Of course, that's always been the case. But both of them right now, I mean, hole 18, if you miss the island, you're almost guaranteed a bogey four. Marweed well inside the circle and keeping it in bounds. Mainsma, who's down five strokes at the moment. And that one leaks out. Advantage Marweed. Now oh, put that guy in the rock skipping contest. Look at that, just hovering the whole way. Oh, and my friend showed up. What? And that pushes forward, but that's going to be <laughs> uh, a difficult place to be. You're not really able to run at this to put it in. And sometimes just getting it to sit down and keep it in bounds is difficult. Somebody bring back that white truck. Yeah. Mindsma loves it. What a par save. Jake was probably thinking he could make up the difference between him and Noah with a connection here he does get the birdie but he's still going to be one back of Mainsma Just quietly hanging out trying to sneak into that spot again 17 and 18 looming anything possible Marweed now has a turkey three in a row on 14, 15, and 16. As we head over to hole 17, the downhill, it typically feels like a must-get birdie. You should be within 30 feet anyway. However, now that wall is there, and we've seen a few people actually miss the island, and that certainly has to be in the back of everyone's mind right now. All right, well, Marweed's Marwe got it on lockdown here. Hole 17, so easy. That's some CTP action. And speaking of action, as we watch 
Mainz ma. He could use an ace right now, but he's going to have to settle for a birdie luck. The question for you guys is, what are you most looking forward to here in the 2023 season? It is just around the corner. Of course, we're playing this event here to kind of kick things off for some of you. But what event, whether it's a pro tour or another regional or local A tier that's taking place, tell me the event you're most looking forward to, whether you're playing or spectating or just waiting to watch it on the YouTubes. That's what I need to know in the comment section. You hit the bell, like, share, subscribe. There should be a big 100,000 subscriber giveaway. Maybe I will get Marweed to possibly give up one of these sweatshirts, cookies included, and that'll be part of the 100K giveaway I'm going to have to make happen. see the three birdies the par by Tanner and I was talking about needing a four maybe five stroke lead going in the last few holes but right now Andrew Marweed I I don't know if there I don't think it's possible actually to give up this many strokes on the final hole you go right to the drop zone if somehow you don't land on the island hole 18 is shorter this year not playing with the Mandos that we've seen in the past few years, but also much more attackable. Marweed is going to... I think that's really a flex. Just like, hey, I'm going to savor this moment of my lead for another few seconds. Probably lay the smack down. Okay, that's really not in his nature. <laughs> One of the most... Soft spoken, this, this, and in all honesty, this A tier lead card final group had to be one of the quieter groups. All incredible guys. I'm so honored to be able to watch this action unfold, but certainly one of the most polite, softest spoken sets of guys I've ever seen, or set of guys I've ever seen. Beautiful sunset, Sunday afternoon, bring it up. Water looming directly behind the pin. Tentative. So Mainzma needs this and he gets it. That's going to hold off Jake, who's also looking at a birdie. So big shout out to Jake and this incredible performance. He's going to finish on the podium just behind Noah. And there was Noah catching Marweed, it looked like. I catch up with. Andy Marweed have a quick conversation with him spoiler alert folks he's going to be crown champion here in just a moment and I'm going to just again say thank you so much to everyone that watched all my crew at First Light Pete Uliberry who did the drone previews check him out on the Uli Institute and here it is Andrew Marweed your champion at the 2023 Shelly Sharp Memorial presented by Spinners on the Green. I'll check in with him in a moment. Thanks for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you your 2023 Shelly Sharp Memorial Champion, Andrew Marweed. I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and that was my video blog. Joined by our 2023 Shelly Sharp Memorial Champion, Andrew Marweed. And Andrew, the last four years, there's only been two guys. Adam Hammes, along with Anthony Barella. However, right out of the gate, you really made everyone else a non-factor. Talk about the putting this weekend. 
putting felt good. Uh, the first round, I think I didn't have a single circle two look, which was probably the, for the first time in history for me. So I made all my circle ones the whole entire weekend. So uh, when the drives are in circle one, I usually count on it going in. So thankfully that was the case this weekend and it worked out pretty well for me. Now, we'll see this course probably again come Memorial time, and a lot of people are excited about seeing this course as an early season opener. What was some of your philosophy about coming out here to play this year and get yourself ready for the year? It was just a nice change of pace living from Michigan, so being in the warm, warm-ish warm weather uh, this weekend, but I just got off the wait list for Memorial a few days ago, so just in time, and it's uh, definitely a good warm-up for that tournament. All right, anything you'd like to say to any friends, fans, supporters, anyone else out there? Yeah, I'd like to thank Disc Golf Guy for filming this tournament and, of course, my sponsors, DGA, Great Lakes Disc, Squatch Disc Golf, and Mitten Bags. All right, everyone, that's Andrew Marweed. It's been a heck of a weekend here. Big shout-out to both Tyler along with Spicy Boy and the entire crew here at the Spinners on the Green and my gracious host and First Light and everyone else that you've seen throughout the videos. Again, that's the Shelly Sharp Memorial. Andrew Marweed, your champion. We'll see you at the next one.